Without a mix of the 
sucks. Shout out to me, the car club up in the house. God bless. It's been a real blessed day. Thank you. For pictures of our freedom in this country and all around the world, they deserve our respect and they deserve our gratitude. Some were drafted and some were volunteered. And some went to battle and some, some of them didn't come back. And some didn't go to battle, but they stayed ready on call. For some of it was just yesterday, and for others it was many years ago. In the jungles, or the desert, or land, or on sea, they did whatever was assigned to them to produce victory. All of them did their share for a low pay and a little glory. They gave up their lives of being home with their families. Let every veteran be honored today. Without them, there would be no freedom in this country. What they did, we can't repay them, but we can honor them today. So when we see a uniform or a hat that says Air Force, Army, Navy, and Marines, Say thank you for your services, and may God bless you. And it's an honor. It's an honor that these men gave of their lives so that we could have that freedom. You know, we don't, we don't really realize the freedom that we have in this country. I always am looking at the geographic and other places, and I don't think other countries have the freedom to even low ride. <laughs> because I don't see any lowriders anywhere but in the United States and now in Japan. But they're hidden lowriders because the, the government doesn't allow them to do that. And yet, because these men went out to battle throughout the years for our freedom, we have the freedom to cruise slow, fast, high, and low. But thank God for these men. If there's any veterans here today, my hat's off to you, my respect to you. And I thank you for your services for my country and my freedom. And Father, we pray right now for these men, these men that have left their families and their homes to protect our country. These men that put their life on the line for our freedom. God, we pray that you bless them this morning, God, and thank you for their commitment to give their lives for our freedom. Bless them, God. Give them long lives. We pray for the families that lost sons and daughters in the military, God, that didn't come home. We pray for those families, God. God, that you would give them good memories, God, and strong hearts to continue to thank these men, the veterans of the United States of America. We give you honor today. In Jesus' name, we thank you guys, and we love you for your commitment to our country. Amen. All right, give it up. Hey, I'm telling you, veterans again, thank you so much for your service. Hey, let's get it going. Come on, Taco.
Take over from here. Amen. God bless. Once again, you know, we want to honor these men that are up here right now. They're a representation of the protection of our country. These are the men that I was talking about earlier. That no matter what was going on in their life, whether they volunteered or whether they were drafted, they did their time. You know, there's a lot of guys in the Bible that did time. Some of us know what it is to do time. Time for the things that we did wrong. But these men did time for something right. They did something for our country. They did something to give us freedom. And all honor is to be given to these men right now. You know, these are men that fought, put their lives on the line. And I can understand in some way, in a bad way, I think, because when I was in the water, I was getting shot at too. We're being dumb. <laughs> but these men did it for our lives. And they came back home safely. Thank God that they're here today. Give them a hand of praise today. Give God praise for they're here today. Amen. And so now we want to do something special for them. And also some of their comrades that have gone on to be with the Lord that maybe are not here today. And we don't want to bring any bad memories to their heart or to their minds. But we want to honor them today, and we want to honor our fallen soldiers for our playing this song. Thank you, gentlemen. Look at that. A round of applause here for our man. You know, it's a great, great honor. And here before you go, you know, it, it's a great honor in what we continue to do here in the park. And it, it blesses my heart because just, you know, seven years ago, so I see those are the gentlemen here, if you're not sure if you know them already, Daniel Flores, Danny Flores who had the dream here in the park with the cars and going forward and keeping the veterans alive because they feared that we didn't get acknowledged, you know, here in the streets and here in our park. But then he talked to our president, not because of the name Suavecitos, but he asked them, and he asked the family, will you continue this with me? And the heart of Suavecitos says, yes, I'll help you. We'll continue to see your dream come through. And I'm going to tell you, Danny might be gone and gone with the Lord, but I'm going to tell you one thing. 
Danny still lives here today, you know? Through Suavecitos, through Chris, and through everybody that is standing here today. And here acknowledgement because of this man, and we're gonna share here in a few moments a little bit of his biography that's amazing. And again, men, we acknowledge you, thank you, I thank you for serving our country. And if you'll give one more round of applause, and we'll have you go and finish doing what you do. We thank you. Again, we, this day is for you guys. So go ahead, and as you guys go back down and enjoy your families, enjoy what we have for you, we're going to lead a, we'll be reading a little biography on Danny. Thank you guys so much. So now these guys' faces, when you walk by them, you got to give them a beer or a shot. was drafted on April 6th, 1965, and was scheduled to be sent to Fort Ord here in California. However, Fort Ord had been closed for cleanup, you know, for the Meganites outbreak, and was scheduled to reopen on April 1st, 1965. Instead, Danny and about 150 others from California were sent to Fort Pollock. Louisiana for basic training. After basic training, Danny went to Fort Gordon, Georgia for advanced individual training, AIT. In January 1966, Danny was sent to Ever Everdeen providing uh, proving grounds of Maryland. Upon arrival, Danny said, I can't very well be ordinance instructor. I never went to AIT, I was on OJT at Fort Gordon in the warehouse. So they said, well, we can't very well make you ordinance instructor. So they assigned it to me. And Danny was a member, check this out, Danny was a member of the Placita. That's what it says here, Danny was from the Cycle Motorcycle Club in the 70s and a veteran, and know that his heart was a heart right here in this very park where you sit down, where you're standing up, and we're sharing the love one to another. And us as Suavecitos, the president here, our president Chris and his wife Kathy, said, you know what, we're gonna stand the ground and we're gonna continue to go forward and help Danny fill his dream and we will continue the legacy on what Danny started we will finish and then continue going through it with our children. And again, be grateful. And again, members that are veterans, we want to thank you this very day. I'm going to tell you, whether there was one person in this park or 100, we are here and we're going to stand and honor those that went out there, sacrificed their life, and are here today. Even the few that are here and many that are out there. Again, we thank you for your time. Again, give your friends and family a call. Tell them what we're doing here. We'll be here till about four o'clock. But more than anything, we want to share the love and share the respect with the individuals with our, with, that we call veterans today. Thank you again. Taco. Four o'clock. Whoa. Four o'clock. Spin that, DJ. Rewind.
Hey, I want to thank everybody for coming out here. You know, out here to our, the Placita here on 7th Street, doing our veterans outreach. We do this once a year. So Abacitos does this, we do it big. And I'm gonna tell you, it's all about the people, it's all about the veterans. More than anything, it's all about family. And again, more than anything, again, I use that term a lot because it means a lot to us to give to our community, give to our children, give to the families. But today, a very special day for Suavecitos, it's Veterans Day. And again, Veterans Day in the park. And again, if you're out there and if maybe you're looking at this video, not sure, come on out. It's every Veterans Day, the day before or the day after Veterans. We acknowledge Veterans Day more than anything. With a little bit of entertainment, more than anything, we feed our veterans, we give them a breakfast, a lunch, and then to the community, we also have treats and that sort of nature for them. And again, we have our little car show. As you can see, cars around us all the way around. We go all the way all throughout the whole park to my, my left, your right. If you can try to just point it out there a little bit out there. Over here to our feeding area. Feeding area all throughout the park. This is what we do. As a community, if you just follow me, come on through. It's a little loud, but this is, again, part of what we do here. It's just family organizing talking about what we do here yeah, we even have a little meeting going on what we're already planning for next year we're out here for our community and our outreach we do a lot of non-profit organizations things for a 501c car club giving to the community giving back to everything out there children families and more than anything the people again thank you